Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are talking about dictionaries. Dictionaries are the second type of container variable. Uh, the first one being lists, which we talked about in the last episode. Remember that a list is an ordered container, meaning that uh, every item in the list is in the same order, no matter how many times you ask uh, to retrieve that list, right? List. So if we ask for the first uh, item in items here, or the first whatever is at the first index, which is index zero, we will always get Pokeball. Uh, with dictionaries, however, they are not ordered by their uh, position in the dictionary, um, but instead by a key value pair, just like an actual dictionary, uh, where you have the word with a corresponding definition. Uh, and the benefit of that is kind of behind the scenes. Dictionaries are a little bit faster to use, but you can't really iterate through them, which is something we'll get in the next episode. Um, but you can't really go through and look at every single part of a dictionary. Whereas a list, you can look th through the entirety of the list, right? We can look through every single point of this and see like, oh, uh, you know, you know, what is at this position? What is at this position, this position, and do all that type of stuff. A dictionary is really when you know what you're looking for. Uh, and you want to find that, right? You wouldn't look up a dictionary and look through the entire dictionary and then find what you want. You know what you want, you skip to that point, and then so it helps you in that regard. Um, so if that made no sense, that's okay. We're gonna go over dictionaries right now, and I'll show you exactly uh, how I would use one with the example of a bag. So the bag, we're gonna try and make it somewhat like Pokemon again. With uh, the dictionary, we use the curly brackets instead of these straight brackets here. Uh, and then just for formatting purposes and totally optionally, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and that's gonna put this on uh, a, a, a two lines down and give us a separate line here. Now, instead of writing a single uh, item at some position, we write a key, which can be read like this, key. Okay, then we write a colon and then we write a value. Uh, and again, these can be whatever you want. These don't have to be strings. I'm just gonna be using strings for right now, but these could be integers, these could be Boolean values, these could be uh, vectors, these could really be anything you want. Uh, but you cannot have two of any of the same key. If, you, if I go here, again, you put a comma, then next line, I can't write key again because you can't have two of the same key, right? You can have two of the same value, but you can't have two of the same key. So this should yell at me in a second, yeah. Duplicate key found in dictionary. Okay. Anyway, um, so that's basically how you write a dictionary. And we can have tons and tons of different keys with different values. And uh, I'll go ahead and make this a little better of an example here. Uh, well, I guess first what we'll do is we'll show you how to retrieve values from the bag. So uh, what we'll do is we'll say like, you know, print bag. And then again, we can do this, but instead of putting a number for the position, we'll just put the value of whatever we want to get. Uh, print bag.key, uh, then we can hit that, and we can see that it prints value, whatever is at key. Now, the problem with this is if you put like, for instance, KY, or you misspell it, maybe you check, maybe you're uh, modifying this bag as you go, uh, and you run this, uh, it'll, it'll break if that does not exist. So dictionaries have a function called get, which is what you should always use when you're just trying to get the value of some key rather than actually modify the dictionary. And this does the same thing, but uh, if the key does not exist, it just returns null, which prevents your game from crashing, which is really nice. So that's really important in order to get information. But the idea here is that you give it a key and you get the value. So for instance, in our case, um, in the newer Pokemon games, right, we have, for instance, like uh, Pokeballs, okay, and then we'd have like, uh, for the value here, this might be a list, right? And so here, we're putting a list within a dictionary because we have all the times of Pokeballs we have. We have Pokeballs, Pokeball, uh, and then we have a great ball, right? Okay, uh, and then we'll come back down here. And now here we've got our next key, right? So our first key was Pokeballs. Our second key will be uh, TMs. TMs. And then again, we'll make another list. Uh, and we'll say TM50 and TM69. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then finally, we'll have potions. 
and I got to capitalize this. Okay. And then we'll just have regular potion uh, and then we'll have a super potion. Okay, perfecto. All right, so now we've got that. Should stop yelling at me in a second. Ah, that's why this needs to be wrapped in brackets like that. Okay. Cool. Now again, so these right now the value is a whole list that contains values, right? And that might be confusing. This potion could literally be uh, one, right? And that would be okay. Um, but for like making it an actual example, what we want is to actually have those items exist. So again, we can just print bag. Okay. And if we run this, you can see that it prints the entire dictionary like that. We can also do print bag dot get right um, potions. Remember that capitalization matters. Uh, and then as you can see right there, it prints what potions we have. Uh, and then if we want to modify any of these, uh, we do something very similar to what we would like in the uh, lists, right? We would go this and then we'd input the key. So let's say I pick up a potion potions. Right, and so essentially, let's get rid of print here. And then here we'll do print bag dot get potions. Okay, so I have potions, so bag potions, this is returning to us this list. And then what we want to do with this list, well here, I guess I'll do it like this. We'll say var potions equals that. Uh, and then we'll say print potions Okay, uh, and then what we'll say here is we'll say potions dot append. Remember, because we have a list here, uh, and we'll say hyper potion. Okay, now if we run this, oopsies, that's why. As you can see here, we've added now the hyper potion to that list. Uh, and so that's because we've grabbed this uh, and, and done it like that. And there you have that right there. So as you can see, what we did here is we grabbed the potions key, whatever the value was, the value is this list uh, of potions. And what we did is we went ahead and added the hyper potion to that using the append uh, function, which we learned in the last video on lists because we are operating on a list now. Um, see if we print potions here, this is going to print that list. Okay, so now I want to quickly go over a few important functions that dictionaries have uh, in them. Again, just like the uh, items has a, uh, a has function, right? If x in, we can do the same thing with dictionaries. We can say if bag dot dot has, uh, and then we can put in any kind of key, right? So for instance, tm, right? print uh, high. Okay, so we'll do that. You can see it prints high. Uh, and then if we change this to be like TS or something that's not in the list, and it then doesn't work. It's that simple. That is really helpful. And that only searches the keys. Now, you can also do something pretty cool, which is uh, something we'll definitely use later on, which is we can do uh, print, we'll do prints, and we'll do bag dot keys. Okay, and this returns a list. Uh, with all of the keys in the dictionary, right? So Pokeballs, TMs, potions. Then we have bag dot values. And what this does is this returns all the values in the dictionary as a list. So if we print this, we can see that we've got, well, here, you know what I should do is do, uh, we'll do that. Okay. Okay, so you can see we've got one list, which is Pokeballs, TMs, Potions, and that is our keys. And then we have a second list, which is our values. And so this is a list of three lists, one, two, three. And that's how that works. Okay, cool, cool. Um, last one I wanna to talk to you about. You have the same function again, you have the size function, and the size function again will tell you the number of keys in the dictionary. So if we write print bag.size, Right. 
uh, it'll go ahead and say three because there's three keys in the dictionary. So now what I'd like to do is kind of put everything we've just done into practice using what we know about dictionaries and lists to make a little program that allows us to kind of sort through the bag and have it print out what pocket we're in and what is in that pocket. So I'll quickly make an on ready variable, right? So remember, this is going to happen on the ready. And we're going to say, actually, this could probably be just be a regular variable, say var, um, and uh, we'll say keys equals bag dot keys. Okay, again, this is returning to us a list of all the keys. So it should say pokeballs, TMs, potions. Let's do this. Print keys. Uh, let's make sure that works. There we go. Okay. So we're going to make another variable. I'm going to say var key. And then we're going to say equals zero. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go down to our physics process. And we are going to say that uh, if input dot is underscore action just pressed UI, we'll make it down so we can go down, right? If, uh, if input is action just pressed UI down, we're going to say key plus equals one. Okay, so we're going to increase our key. Uh, and then we're also going to say that if key is greater than uh, we'll say three. Well, actually, what we'll do is uh, if key is greater than keys dot size. Okay, then key equals zero. So essentially, what I've just done here is that when we press down, we're going to increase our keys, so we'll go zero, one, two, three. Um, yeah, and then we'll say if our key is greater than the size of all our keys, this should actually be size minus one, right, because we start at zero, then key equals zero. And then what I'll also do right here is say print key. And this is just to show you what's happening. So I'll go like this. One, two, zero, one, two, zero. So that way I've kind of basically clamped this at a value between one and zero and it can't go, uh, I'm sorry, um, zero and two, and it can't go above two, right? So then what we'll do is we'll say print key, uh, I'm sorry, keys dot, uh, I'm sorry, not dot, so you print keys dot, or keys key, right? So again, the key is going to be a number like that. Uh, and then what we can do here is do this. So we're in TMs, we're in potions, we're in pokeballs, TMs, potions, pokeballs, and now we're running through that, right? So uh, we've got that. And then what we can do here is basically say, um, print, so we'll keep that, we'll say, print keys key, and then we'll say print bag dot get, we'll even do this, we'll say var uh, pocket equals keys key, right, just like that, we'll say print pocket, okay, and then just to show you again, uh, this is going to do the same thing, TMs, potions, blah, blah, blah. Now what we'll do is we'll say print uh, bag dot get pocket. Okay. And so now what's happening is we're shifting, we're going through our bag when I hit down right here. And so we're just looking at the output down here again. Uh, and so I'll hit down, I'll go into our Pokeball slot. You can see I have a Pokeball and a Great Ball. If I go over to our TM slot, I've got TM50, TM69, and I can shovel through the bags. And of course, I can go ahead and do the same thing uh, by saying if the input action just press UI uh, up, then we would go um, uh, minus one, right? And so that is the end of the example. That just shows how we've incorporated learning a little bit about our uh, both the lists here as well as our dictionaries. And we are able to make a basically functioning bag. Now in an actual game, what you'd of course do is make a visual representation of what you're doing here, right? So we'd have like a pocket that says TMs, and then we'd have a list of all the TMs we have. Each one of those would be selectable and stuff like that. But the idea is still the same. We've actually made a functional inventory system. And it, all it is is just a simple uh, variable here that is a uh, dictionary container. And that's that.
Uh, in the next episode, we are going to be talking about looping. And looping is really important because looping allows us to sift through every single item of some list or even a dictionary and check it. We can, we can do things with each and every one in that list. And that's really, really important. And that is one of the reasons we actually learned these things. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something and have a great day.